the idea was we wanted a marine location here at the Port of Houston, one that was big enough to be able to accommodate our plans, and we do have the agility and mobility to be able to make decisions on the fly, and we needed to make sure that we had the partners to support this way of business. Flintco had done a little bit of cement work previously, so that was a huge plus for us. But regardless, the idea was the flexibility and willing to learn something new and willing to work on issues as they arise together. Is this someone we can see ourselves resolving conflict with? And I think overall the answer was yes. We've installed about 1,500 tons of steel so far. Over the course of the project, we started with iron workers. Our peak at this job site was 41 people total. We got iron workers, we got a combination of pipe fitters and bowl makers that will do any kind of equipment installation, dug, steel, anything. And we've been successful because we got skilled tradesmen that have a lot of knowledge. One of the other standout elements that Flinko was able to provide is the ability to work on several of those elements at once. So we didn't have to manage too many various subcontractors on site, really. We could just give Flinko the bulk of the work and trust that they could handle it. Safety is our number one goal. Safety, quality, and production. Flinko for Life gives us a direct sequence of what we need to do to maintain safety on all our projects. That is our culture and our intent, that we want them to go home the same way they came here. With several different engineers working on a project like this from various backgrounds in various countries, we have engineers from Germany who supplied all the equipment that did the majority of the mechanical design. And then a lot of the steel was fabricated and a portion of it was designed by our own technical office in Egypt. So you couple Germany with, with Egypt, with the US, sometimes things get lost in translation. There's been several instances where maybe a piece of steel was not fabricated the way it was meant to or a certain piece of equipment didn't fit together the way they needed to and that's where you need all the heads in a room together to try to figure out how to solve this problem quickly and in a cost-effective way and Flinka was constantly a leading voice in that conversation. It's a fairly simple process. It's going from one point A to point B to point C to point D and they use pneumatic valves to transfer it to change direction or to change what location it goes to as far as going to which dome and how it's being conveyed. It's conveyed to the domes on air slides, but it's picked up with bucket elevators and then it's sent to different domes based on the type of cement that it is or fly ash. Air slides, screw conveyors, and belt conveyors to move the product throughout the facility. Our site at the Port of Houston is the largest privately owned cement import terminal in the world. And it's something that we're very proud to have built and it's something that has constantly evolved over the years as we've continued to engineer it and continue to expand and add more layers to it. And Flinko has constantly been by our side and willing to adjust to these changes and make it happen. I would absolutely recommend Flinko again, just purely based on their experience and ability to perform on the field when things get a little bit messy, their people skills and their ability to handle difficult personalities sometimes. And we'd even discussed internally using Flinko again in our future project, such as our satisfaction with their abilities.